Hello everybody, it's Kelly and today I'm gonna do a first impression on this. This is like highly, highly rave. This is the Tati Blended Foo and it's really difficult to get it in Singapore and I got it off like Instagram. Uh, I think this girl, she actually got it from the US and she brought it back so yeah. Okay, so we have two blended food here and this says that you are able to machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash this in warm soapy water. It looks pretty interesting and it's very soft and it says no harsh line by Tati because you know Tati is all about your know, blending and I see her using this so easily and I also referred to Kathleen Light's video. This is what you use mainly when you're doing your makeup and then this is when you want to do like touch up so you can see um, the difference it's significantly smaller I am gonna use all my favorite cream products today in this video also because I mean why not just kill two birds with one stone you're gonna try out this first impression and also show you guys my favorite cream products and also I think I want to try um, this with powder as well because it's very easy to blend out cream products even with your hand because sometimes when you use this kind of tool with powder, um, it gets a little bit cakey. So I want to test if this actually works. So recently, because of the TikTok trend, I got this e.l.f. primer. Well, this is the Potty primer, and I think Tati actually talked about using this blended full with um, the Tatcha Canvas primer. But the thing is, I don't have that much money to splurge on the Tatcha Canvas primer, so I'm just gonna use the dupe. Um, this is the e.l.f. one. Here. Oh my god, I'm so excited actually because this is my first Tati product. I actually wanted to try the Halo vitamins and I also wanted to try the eyeshadow palette but I feel that those were not as necessary as this. One thing is that you can just use one side for powder and one side for cream and you can just like flip this thing over so it doesn't bother you and get in the way. I'm just gonna start off with this arrow pointing forward. Oh, it's so soft. Oh my god, very very comfortable. I'm just gonna start off with foundation. This is the Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. If you guys wanna know my top 5 favorite foundation, I have put a link here. You guys can go see it. She said in her video to just smear it all over your face and then slowly tap it in. And also um, she mentioned that, ooh, oh actually, it's pretty high coverage already and also she mentioned that with this blended food you don't have to use too much of the product. Oh, oh wow. Wait, look, redness, no redness and it's very fast. I have the tendency of like dragging it down so I'm not sure if I'll create wrinkles from this blended food but I'm just gonna try to minimize the dragging. I think this is actually pretty awesome because it has this like pointed tip so you can just like hug it your eye area and it just goes into the crevices where sometimes beauty blender can't. So I have my foundation done and I only used actually one pump because it's like two half pumps. I'm just gonna go in with my concealer and I really love the RMS concealer. Okay to be honest, my RMS concealer is a little bit thick. It's best to use my fingertips. This one, mm, it's blending but weird lines under my eye. It's tricky. Maybe you can't use it with thick concealer, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll try to put on Colourpop concealer. I feel like it's still streaky though. Especially under my eyes, I suppose. Like, is it because I have too much lines. To be honest, for my dark eye circles, I'm just gonna use my fingertips. I'm giving up. Concealer done. I love this right now. My favorite. This is the Ten Tour um, by Huda Beauty. I am in the shade Fair. All this YouTuber coming out with all the really great products. Kudos to them. I'm just gonna use my fingers again. And this is so much. I don't know what she put in this but it is very very nice and watery I don't know how to say it and it's not oily either okay so what you can do is to just squeeze it like that 
like a taco. Always like bend forward, like upward. The blend's even faster than a uh, beauty blender because it's longer like that and then you just is able to cover up a larger surface area. If you compare it with a beauty blender, a beauty blender it's a little bit more damp, it has no moisture in there. A little bit easier to just like bounce and just work on your face, but this one can be a little bit dry. I don't like to drag my face, you know, so. Okay, okay, actually it blended out really well. I try to squeeze it even more for my um, nose contour. I think this actually did a better job at contouring my nose than a beauty blender because you know you can just like squeeze it as much as you want. Nose contour done and I like it. I just want to try it with my cloud paint. We shall see. And also I just want to see how it can like quickly blend out on my face. Like what I said, this can be a little bit dry. So if you can see it's sometimes I when I use Beauty Blender I like it that it kind of absorbs a little bit of product so I don't have to worry about me being super heavy handed on my blush or anything but this one is just like full on whatever you have here it just pounds into your skin. Um, this one, you just gotta be very light handed with the amount of um, products you are using which is kind of good because uh, you can reduce on the amount of product that you're using but it just gotta be like super light handed. We're all like super used to having beauty blenders and sometimes it just absorbs the right amount of um, product and it leaves you a very like flawless makeup look. I have here the Milk Makeup Highlighter um, and I also have the liquid one from Nude Sticks. I really love Nude Sticks. I'm gonna try one on each here. So my Nude Sticks one in 99% Angel. Okay, very nice. This Milk one, I have it in the shade Lit. Okay, it's still there. Pretty nice. Okay, actually, to be honest, they all look pretty good. I'm very impressed in my um, nose contour because very precise. I can just like, you know, squeeze it as much as I want. I'm just like, I'm gonna use the clean side now to put on um, my powder. Let's say if I want to bake my face, I'm using my LA Pro um, powder. It's very affordable and go in and dip too. Okay, definitely it is able to pick up the powder and like nicely set it on my face. How about I try using it with my Fenty bronzer? It's a powder bronzer. Let's see if I can use this. Oh, it's a lot. You see how convenient I can just like slide it off like that and I am bronzed. I am bronzed. I'm using Hustler Baby. Ooh, it's a lot. The thing about this is that you can use your fingers and then just like pinpoint the places that you want to highlight. Look at this. This makeup with just one of this puff is amazing. I like it. Alright, okay, so verdict, I really like this, but just be careful to not drag your face with this, if not you'll create like, you know, wrinkles and stuff. But as for like powder and cream products, I think they actually performed really well. Um, and to be honest, I feel that I'll be able to use this really quickly and with more practice, I think I'll just be able to just finish my face within 5 minutes just using this. 1010 would repurchase and recommend to anyone that wants um, a beauty blender or like an extra makeup tool. Okay, so we have come to an end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe down below and also follow me on my Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye!